Turning now to the fight against COVID. This is a developing story this morning. A Georgia lawmaker is proposing a bill to ban COVID-19 vaccine requirements in schools. Mara Sirianni joining us live from outside the state capitol to break down this legislation. So Mara, talk about how this might play out and how it could impact students and teachers. Yeah, the primary sponsor of this bill says it's not about all vaccines. It's just about the one that would protect school age children from COVID-19. So this is a Republican backed bill and it is drawing a lot of criticism pretty early on as well. Uh, basically, that's because of the language that is built into this bill. It says no government agency shall require proof of any vaccination of any person. It includes public school districts. Now, critics say this could open up a world of bans against vaccine mandates even for things besides COVID, forcing the bill's primary sponsor, Senator Jeff Mullis, to make some adjustments. For years, public schools have required childhood vaccinations of their students, as we know. Epidemiologist Rebecca Mitchell says data shows vaccines have saved lives. Senator Mullis says he will rewrite the bill, but he intends to still uh, make it illegal for schools to require COVID vaccines. And I think the whooping cough and polio and measles, they probably need to stay the same. Now I'm talking about COVID only. The vaccinations, if they're working or they're not. That is misinformation. We have had long-standing community buy-in that what we do with our vaccine programs is we protect people. And before Senator Mullis said he would go ahead and make some changes and adjustments to this bill, he had support from about half of Senate Republicans. So we will continue to follow this one and see how everything plays out. Back to you. It just shows the divide here with COVID. You know, school vaccination started in the 1800s. It's been a requirement for a long time, but they want to put COVID in a, in a different category. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Mara, thanks a lot. So as some Georgia lawmakers work to ban any future COVID vaccine requirements in schools, OSHA is pulling the Biden administration's vaccine and COVID testing mandate for businesses. That starts today. And that reversal was announced Tuesday, just days after taking a loss to the Supreme Court. So while the regulation is no longer enforceable, OSHA says it is still a suggested still rule as it works to finalize a permanent COVID-19 health care standard. The version is called Stealth Omicron. This is a new version of COVID-19. It's already been detected right here in the US and researchers say it lacks a particular mutation that makes it easy to identify with a PCR test. Right now, we know this version will show up, but it'll be more difficult to identify which strain. In Denmark, it already accounts for more than half of all of the cases, according to scientists. But doctors say more research is needed to figure out if it's any more dangerous than the previous strains. All new this morning, researchers are having more conversations about different ways to prevent the virus from spreading, including the idea of a universal COVID vaccine. This comes as Omicron cases continue to dominate the country. Pfizer says they are manufacturing an Omicron specific vaccine and they are testing it now, but it begs the question, what about other variants? Dr. Anthony Fauci is expected to talk more about this at the White House later today. He says there has already been significant work done. Fauci says the importance of developing a pan-COVID vaccine becomes even more apparent for future pandemics.